the high court case uh, that they're talking about, uh, when we've seen the, the reasons now, that uh, the, the written reasons have been handed down by the high court for their judgment, as it turns out, the minister conceded a point which has given rise to all of this mm. and the decision from the high court to release this individual. It, there was actually, This is the most frustrating part for a lot of Australians who are worried about the fact that all these criminals are now out in the community. As it turns out, the government never needed to concede that point. The High Court wouldn't have found the way they did. The first individual, NZYQ, wouldn't have been released. Uh, and the government itself, as it turns out, has made a decision in relation to the other 140-odd mm. to release them into the community when there was no need to do so. So that, no wonder they're panicking and uh, this is a complete and utter disaster. Um, so the personal attacks, yes, they hurt, uh, but they don't mean anything to me because... Uh, it's the complete opposite of who I am or what I believe. And uh, I think, you know, most of your listeners know me well enough uh, and my history well enough uh, to, to know that this is a desperate prime minister running out of options.